We'd go back to San Daniel and an egg, just kidding, it's Ryan. They're playing video games. Shut up, it's about to start! Hey everybody, it's, uh, well, I mean, it's kind of a botched intro. I was gonna say it's Thursday, but it's not Thursday for you. <laughs> it's Sunday again. And it's, uh, Daniel and a Matheson, and a Daniel and a, just kidding, it's Ryan. It's, yeah, yeah. It's a Daniel and a Matheson and an egg, just kidding, it's Ryan. Oh, oh. because of the baldness. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I get it. We're trying it. to, you know, keep your brand on brand. So speaking of brand, what game are we playing today, boys? This is Descenders. Okay. It's uh, Tony Hawk's Pro Biker. Ooh, with Ryan multiplayer. Ryan Nyquist Downhill Jam. Excuse <laughs> me, Kareem Campbell? Mm, he's a, a skateboarder. Yeah, well, you said Tony Hawk. Who's yeah, Ryan Nyquist? Then, Ryan Nyquist, he's a BMX biker. How do you know that? I used to watch the X Games, dude. <laughs> what is that? Whoa, see you, see you later. All right. <laughs> We're in. Yeah, so Descender is... Can I take uh, you out? Uh, I don't know if there actually is collision, but you'll never see me again. Oh, maybe not. Let's go. How is he so fast? Is the All the pepperonis are weighing me down. <laughs> so what's the point? We're just having out here doing tricks and... We tricks or no <laughs> tricks? Uh, so I, I don't know how the multiplayer works, but... It's, uh, I think it's almost a little bit, like, casual, but you get more rep by doing tricks and by like completing objectives and stuff like that okay. and uh in the in the normal version the single player version of the game it's almost like a roguelite so you have hp and you got to get through these levels that have increasingly difficult stunts uh -huh. um but in this one i think it's really just like you know have a good time i guess have a good time yeah but as it gets going like these levels are super easy but it'll get a lot tougher as time goes on so like uh, are we doing sauce or no sauce is the question. I mean, I'm putting sauce on it just because, you know, <laughs> otherwise it's too much like my daily life. <laughs> Which is what? Well, it, it was biking for a while. <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you give up biking? Um, well, it's, it, you know, there's no good reason for it. Basically, I, I was biking. I was doing like, you know, these 20 or 30 kilometer bike rides and it was awesome. And then I went to my parents' house and I got super sick. And after like a week or maybe like 10 days of recovery, I was like, I'm probably good to go out for a ride. And, you know, I went up a hill and it felt like my heart was going to explode. <laughs> so then I was like, well, I got to wait even longer until I get to the point where I'm capable of biking again. And then, uh, you know, I just gotcha. So, <laughs> so we saw something on that and, and it pertains to you, to you and math is throwing up or not. So there's a, a race winner and a flow winner. I'm guessing flow is if you got more sauce. Uh, I'm guessing sauce is when you do tricks. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> I feel like since it's a casual, I think we should we should keep track of who's winning the sauce and who's winning the races. Whoa. Whoa. By all means. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys be... haven't played this uh, before yet, huh? No. no. Just Man, this, you know this is from uh, the same studio that made uh, Action Hank. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, same sort of same like, idea. Endless runners sort yeah. of deal. Action Hank was great. It was a cool game. Is that like Stretch Armstrong? It's kind of like um, Bit Trip Runner, but competitive. It's okay. like it's like Bit Trip Runner plus Trials, kind of. Okay. But in, I don't know, you don't die that often. You mostly just try to go fast. How do you launch yourself vertically like you did on that one? Oh, dude, okay. So it's like um, in, a, in Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, you want to mm -hmm. like charge up your bunny hop. So when you go up to a ramp, hold down on right stick and uh -huh. then pop it up at the top. <laughs> now these levels, you know, is a little simple, but. I can't remember how to skate. Further, Skid is just a uh, right analog stick in, uh, oh, in a the direction. direction opposite of the turn. Oh, oh. All right. Ryan's face down in the dirt. <laughs> all right. So flow better flow high flow is more stuff. It's got to be more tricks because okay. Your bike what? is is on in my screen is on its side, skidding on the ground in an endless circle. <laughs> That's why I get so much flow. Just constantly. Excuse me, Matt. This beat me in flow. What can I say? I have more flow than you. You bailed. Wait. So I'm thinking rep is combination speed and flow. Rep is like uh, it's it's a composite of 
everything. Like you get rep by not falling, by linking tricks, by like near misses give you rep. So if you come like super close to a tree or something like that, but don't actually hit it. All right, so I'm gonna try the Ryan Gary pull up technique. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. Um, okay, I'm still going. That's a win. Yeah, this uh, each one of the levels has like parameters too. So this one is steep, curvy race. So steep, they're like modif. Oh my god! <laughs> you saw that? I oh. did see that. That I was brutal. Real hard. So steep and curvy are like two different modifiers you could have uh, that are like the the pitch that the level goes down, and then like obviously how curvy it is. But yeah, some I, of them I, like they're once we get into later levels, there'll be like not even any track. They'll just be like you're out in the wilderness. <laughs> Do you use a uh, skid a lot, Ryan? Um, or is that I? I don't, okay. but uh, I just I don't either. I just don't know if I should. Yeah, I, it seems to handle pretty well without it for now. <laughs> but at this when we were, uh, ooh, ooh, see you later. Nice sauce. Nerd. When we were uh, we were on the Twitch stream on Tuesday, and uh, hey, I heard you guys hunt hunt together now. We hunted, but we figured it out. But more importantly, I'd never been privy to one of your. Your session returnings. What? When you return. Oh, the... <laughs> <laughs> when you we finish a, a bad game and you go, well, that's a refund. No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I got my money back, baby. <laughs> what constitutes what constitutes a refund for you, Mathis? Uh, if I'm ever gonna pick that game up again, if the answer is no, I'm getting my money back. Got it. <laughs> why, why would I? Why would I donate twenty dollars to a game I didn't have a good time with? <laughs> That's not really the way I look at it. <laughs> Just not my type of game. I'm never gonna hunt. Oh my god! But you took back oh. the hunter? Yeah, I, I, I refunded that. Dude, that was. Uh, it was pretty good. Yeah. It was pretty good. I don't know. Are you putting out that fourth video, Ryan? Uh, we only had three, right? No, we had four. Oh, four. We had four? Yeah, sir. <laughs> Dude, I honestly... So I, I thought we only had three. So I made the videos, like, one of four accidentally. And then, like, oh, I probably just didn't upload properly. <laughs> oh, well. So, no. <laughs> but we played it on Tuesday, and... Dude, it was pretty good. It's still slow though. It's like, probably a lot uh, more fun when you get rid of the pro hunter in your team and you replace well, him with dude, a bunch honestly, of losers. That's part of it, but like, also like, actually shooting something was like I was exciting instead of just walking around for hours. And then, um, is it a map no, difference? Was it a different map and it was just well, better? I guess because you know, in, in the comments I heard uh, people were like, "Oh, you just picked a hard map." I didn't realize yeah, it was difficult. Yeah, I don't know why. Like you make life harder for everybody dude like I, you did pick the last hunting lodge on the map and usually games go from like easiest to hardest I, you know? but there was no difficulty on them yeah but like so you i just know, picked the one that like looks... assumed right it's like when you're on the main menu it doesn't say like press a to select this oh, i'm it, sorry so assume... if, so if i go hunting deer in massachusetts but i want to hunt deer hard i should go to california Dude, I don't know. <laughs> it doesn't, it doesn't make you any should sense. buy a hunter's guidebook, and if it says and deer you... are easy in Massachusetts, go there. <laughs> European deer are extra difficult, but look, it's particularly difficult because I don't speak German, so I didn't know what any of the signs said. But right, true. Mostly freaking. And the, and the deer were speaking German too. Dan, did you see the the post mortem from the bear you vultured? I mean, you're talking about the one that I shot through the heart in both lungs. That one? No, not that one. The one me, that I, there was I one kill shot on it. There was one where there was just a bear in a field, and the three of us took like alternating shots at. We shot it like literally seven or eight times, and then Dan loot vultured it, and it shows <laughs> like the the ledger of damage dealt, and it's like you know I hit it for thirty seven percent like through the left lung, and then uh, mouth hit it for like forty five percent, and then there's a lot of like little ones. Dan's on there once. He hit it in the front <laughs> forearm for 2% of its life. That was the kill shot. That was not, there were two shots after that. I know, but what do you think set it up? Probably the, the shot in his left lung. Yeah. Their mouth's like pierced his heart or something. <laughs> I was, you know, I think the map definitely helped, but Matt, it's a borderline non-return game. Um, maybe for for Team Unity where 
the entertainment, the commentary. Oh, thank you. <laughs> it is you, a compliment. I, mean, I was thinking, like, is that a Mathis compliment where there's, like, a hidden nugget of, like, deceit in there? <laughs> it means I'm boring to listen to. No, no, I don't think that's true. I'm just joking, gents. No, don't get down on yourself, dude. I'm, j I'm joking. Be, be I don't need to get down on myself. Be happy, little Mathis. Let me, <laughs> let me post it again. <laughs> Mathis, you can do this. Be happy, little Mathis. Uh, I'm watching Hor Hobor Vat right now. No, oh! dude, I don't know if I'm gonna make it. You guys might have body me on this one. I'm gonna make it. So basically, when you when it starts to get to crunch time, then you start stop doing less indie kickflips, right? Yeah, That's what more I or less. Oof, ooh, I, yep, know, you're I guess you only have a minute from when the first person finishes. Whoa. Yeah, I'm not oh. gonna finish. <laughs> oh no oh, you, flow. No yeah, flow. no rep, no flow. Bales though. <laughs> oh wow, Jesus! <laughs> I didn't even realize you had 16. The mess is kind of cool. Yeah. yeah, this is a cool game. No yeah, refund on this one, baby. <laughs> <laughs> the single players need to, because it, it. I mean, it's not like the best roguelite you've ever played, but it's very unusual for that kind of formula to be applied. So I wish I could like give you the finger as I passed you, dude. Uh, this is rated T for teen. All right. Oh, okay. Oh. Well, you both. How do I back up? Uh left trigger i'm trying but he's just but then you gotta go beep i'm, tr I'm trying beep. hey Ryan, so do you hold up when you're approaching the ramp or you hold back hold down yeah all right fuck uh it. i'm sorry uh, back or forward well i mean it's not it's not back you know what do you mean it is it's back down what are you holding your controller upside down it's not it's up and down exactly what did you say you said hold it back you said hold it back and forward. I'm saying it in the three dimension. It the a negative in the Z dimension. Oh, man. I'm trying to remember how to like take my hands off the handlebars. I think it's R1. One. Hey, it's yeah, R1 and one something R1. else, isn't it? Yo, you ooh, ooh, finished ooh. already? It's too easy, dude. You don't even get out of bed for these levels. <laughs> this is just a nice little routine bike on the seawall. Speaking of seawalls, Mathis, did you ever beat Red Dead Redemption? No, I stopped. Okay. Probably like two thirds of the way through. Okay. You just, how I come no one plays that multiplayer? Have you guys seen any of that? I, I, I mean, I have a feeling when it hits PC, not that we know yeah. if it's going to hit PC, that's when yeah. it's really going to take off, but it's going <laughs> to hit PC. Yeah, I think like on PS4, it's just like in the streaming community, it's mm -hmm. just not going to be that like insanely popular as a result of the exclusivity yeah so oh uh, i mean like gta online is right now the gta well, popular. yeah the rp aspect of gta online is massive yeah i saw you applied for no pixel did you yeah. get back yet not yet i guess their wait time right now is like three weeks <sighs> to get into when, that server when you do it what uh what I'm kind of character you're gonna make I don't know yet i i have some ideas i might do one for like some youtube content and one for some twitch content so basically, the, the story oh. is everyone on there acts like someone else. Dan, think of it like this. This is the best way I can describe it. Think of the olden days of MMOs, where everything yeah. is player-driven. The economy, everything. Really? It's all player-driven. Yeah, there's an economy in it, and there's uh, there's all kinds of stuff. And But it's like, all... The, the, basically, the, dev, the devs of that server have been working on that server for like six years. And uh, there's all kinds of up. there's all kinds of stuff to do on it, and it's uh, they basically put the tools of you to have like fun in the game in the game, and then they let the players have that's their sandbox. Cool. Yeah, it reminds me a lot of like Ultima or Star Wars Galaxies, so that's why I'm, I want in. Is there loot permanence? Yeah, you can you can have everything uh, and stored in like your room or your or your hotel or wherever whatever you afford to live in at the time. If you kill someone, you get to keep their stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> really? You can loot their body and shit. Yeah. And they lose it forever? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yo! That's why I'm in. It reminds me of old school MMOs. But like there are the cops and the FBI are all players and stuff. And if they ever find out, they can like raid your house and check for shit and all what kinds if, of stuff. What if you're like a corrupt cop? You can do that too. What? Yeah. So I met a guy at uh, Hitman 2 preview event last summer. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And he's like a GTA 5 dude. He's enormous. You know, he has like two or three million subs on YouTube. Oh, that's why. I watched some of his videos. 
I did not understand it at all. But I'm starting to understand it. Every video starts and he's like wearing a California Highway Patrol. Yeah, so he's like a police uh, outfit. And he's, he's like, okay, squad. on today's video, we're gonna like, you know, just run some plate checks and speed checks as people go by. Mm -hmm. And then he just sits in his car and like shoots his radar gun. And that's what you want to do. Cars that go by and then if they're speeding, he pulls them over and they have like a conversation. Yeah. Wait, are they NPCs or are they real no, people? No, they're players. Real yeah, players. They're, they're are there any players. NPCs in it or it's all uh, real there, players? There are, there are NPCs, but they're like GTA, GTA 5 NPCs. Yeah, I think it's like like space fillers to make the world feel more alive. Yeah, there's uh -huh. like NPCs that, that do their thing every day. But there are places like uh, that are set up that you can hit to rob like once every like six hours or something or a random timer that you can go rob as a criminal. Uh, like little little shops and stuff. It sounds yeah. pretty cool. Yeah, it's like right up my alley. The darkness is throwing me off on this one. Yeah. Yeah, it looks neat. And then the reason I wanted no pixels is because they have very strict rules about like metagaming and stuff. Oh, okay. So like if, if there are streamers who, you know, they're streaming it and then there are players who all suddenly know where all the secret stuff that they have oh. are, they get banned like instantly. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. So in order to beat this level, you have to make it through the jump at the end. I'm trying to get through the first jump still. Yeah. Prepare yourself. <laughs> when you come over the hill and you see what you have to do, I think you're gonna you're gonna laugh. Brian, I just gotta learn to let off the gas. You, you seem like kind of lukewarm on the GTA stuff. Uh, well, I'm lukewarm on GTA in general. Mm -hmm. Holy like... crap! Okay. <laughs> oh god. Just because of like. Um... Well, I mean, like when we tried to play it, there's like security concerns, but those are like uh, invalidated, I think, on a private server. Like, mm -hmm. I think if you if you vet it, so only other streamers join, it's not a big deal. Mm -hmm. But for the most part, I just like it. You know, is no way to say it without sounding toxic. <laughs> it's too nerdy I, for you. No, quite the opposite. I I find that. You know, every clip that I watch of streamers doing extended improv bits is extremely cringeworthy. <laughs> I, I don't, I don't know if they, in general, have the, have the chops to keep the bit going long enough. Without, well, and also like some of the dudes, I just, uh, and I mean, again, it's I'm biting the hand that feeds here, but they go on like extended in character bits that make me very uncomfortable they're like a, a nerdy dude from wisconsin and they play like uh like a serial criminal gangbanger oh, and whenever yeah. they talk in character i'm just like i don't know if you should be doing that dude <laughs> that's why you have to be like really picky about the server you play on no, but i think ryan's more talking about like knowing your comedic oh, limitations more or less oh yeah. well then that, that's very yeah for sure that's why oh, so I won't be playing like a wacky character because I know I'm not that kind of person. Oh, I'm actually dead. So we know, Matt, this would be a, kind of a criminal. Ryan, if yep, you were to- Yeah, I am That's the plan. Uh, uh, grant theft role-playing character. What would you play that's within your bit limitation? Dude, I think I'd, is, can I just like run a store or something? Uh, you, I mean, you can yeah, actually, can there's I all just, kinds of jobs you can work. Men's, a menswear emporium? Uh, <laughs> yes, there are people who work like clothing stores and shit. Dude, that sounds like my There's a, There's one There's one character I enjoy watching, he just runs a used car sales shop. Because you don't, you don't start with a car, you don't get a car, yeah. you, have to, you have to save the money and buy a car, and, and then you have to pay, right, uh, this is what reminds me of Ultima, uh, Dan. You have yeah. to pay, you have to keep up weekly rent and weekly car payments. And if you don't, that, that gets taken away. The server takes it away from you. You get repoed. Yep. They repo your vehicle. That's cool. And I didn't know like, it was that in deep. Yeah, me either. Until uh, I started watching. I was like, oh, I want in. But Fuck. it's been around forever. Like, like people are doing no pixel like a year or two ago. Yeah, it's just more and more stuff. Well, I didn't finish that one. <laughs> <laughs> so the skull is the boss level. Uh, oh, so. Okay. I'll just I'll I'll try to get us to the boss level without wasting too much time. <laughs> like boss level, like. Well, it's did just you? The hardest. Yeah. Did you see the jump on the last? Uh, like the I got flaming it. ring. Yeah. I mean, Ryan, you've been playing games with me for three years. Do you think I got to that? <laughs> <laughs> Dan, Dan. To be fair, you yeah. uh, you did really well with Dark Souls. So anything's yeah, possible, you become, man. Like a, le a legitimate Dark Souls uh, intermediate. Well, th well, thank you. I think it's kind of in Ryan's cringe factor. Like, I know what I can play. Like, high, I, but I, 
high action games like with like cuphead dark souls i can i got chops that this i got you gotta play for a little bit you know dude i'm with you i think like the video gaming industry kind of screwed people like us people think <laughs> i'm really shitty at video games which is not false but i'm mostly just really bad at shooters you put me in like uh like punch out style contra style pattern recognition or something like that yeah. and I'm, I'm pretty good but they don't make those kind of games that much anymore yeah true so why like cuphead was totally fine i mean and all like, the dark souls are the same way well that's yeah that's one of the reasons that i liked um like the really hard boss fights in sekiro is that it's kind yeah. of just like a 3d punch out how'd you like without spoilers how'd you like the final fight i thought he was really good yeah me too yeah i thought i thought it was one of the better boss fights in the game for sure because it felt like a test of skill yeah no i i agree and you know dan you're playing uh bloodborne next right um, I, I don't maybe. know yet. I yeah, am. maybe. Oh, Are you? Yeah, I'm tackling that on Twitch next. Dude, hell yeah. I'm I'm pumped. It's probably... It, I've been waffling back and forth, but I think it's probably my favorite Souls game. I think it's everybody's opinion I've heard is like, Bloodborne is still the best. But yeah, isn't it like, framey? Or not? It just runs at 30 frames a second, that's all. If you have a PS4 Pro, it's not as bad, but there are some framey moments, yeah. Okay. But like, it's... There was a, one section of the game that did make me want to throw up a couple times, but <laughs> I got over it. But like, like I think Dark Souls 1, I, it's not necessarily fair to say this to Dark Souls 1, because I think that game is obviously like amazing. But the fact that they kept going back to the well over and over mm. almost diminishes the magic of the first one just enough to not have it be my favorite anymore. You're saying by going to the well, making two more yeah, yeah okay. exactly and there's then, rumors but, that bloodborne 2 is going to be at e3 this year that i mean that would be cool and i know that like i'm my own worst enemy at this point because <laughs> if, if it's not better than bloodborne 1 i'll be like well they made that one worse but <laughs> I, what's cool about bloodborne is like it's very soulsy but it, it rewards aggression specifically so like dan you should really like it because you never use a shield to begin with but is there heavy stuff or is it all like so yeah, I played a couple big two-handed weapons. Day. Yeah, it's a little bit more agile, but you know, you, you can definitely play heavy stuff. I mean, what, another thing I like about it, which is uh, not for everybody, is like, it, it's kind of like Sekiro in the sense that you don't have to get new weapons. Like, I mean, in Sekiro, you just don't. No, mm -hmm. you don't exist. But like, I, I beat Bloodborne and all the DLC using the starting weapon. Really? Like, as, as you upgrade it, it, it gets good enough to like scale to the late game. Is there falutancy in the game? Uh, like like Tarkov style looting? No, like good like good looking outfits and stuff like oh, that. Oh, absolutely. Okay. That, the like, outfits are are very good. It's not just black and purple stuff. No. Okay. Yeah, but they would they do look like Halloween. <laughs> Damn, that wipeout was great. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, have you played Bloodborne before? Uh, yeah, I played like the first third of it. Okay. And then I put I ended up putting it down. Why'd you put it down? Because I, well, I just felt like I could be doing work instead. <laughs> oh, you played it? I was just playing it for myself, fun. yeah. Oh. I never did any content or stream on it or anything. Oh, tree. I'm actually I think excited. you would like uh, Sekiro as well, Dan. Yeah, yeah, I think you would like Sekiro a lot. I'm looking forward to playing both. Most likely, it's like 99% sure I'm going to do Bloodborne. But like when you tackle, like... How long is that game in comparison to like Dark Souls? About the same. Yeah, I think yeah. they're roughly the same. It took Probably me, it's I think, like, 40 hours. That's what I was going to say, like 30 or... Oh, oh, Sekiro, yeah, that was like... I mean, I was like 30, 34, 35 hours, but I did skip, I don't know, maybe like four bosses. I just okay. realized like those are those are the games that I'm like good at, and that's it. Oh, God. Oh, God. Don't, no! don't get down on yourself, Mathis. <laughs> Be happy, little Mathis. No, Wait, no I'm, pr I'm proud. <laughs> proud. Like, I did all, almost all the optional bosses and uh, didn't use my prosthetic tool at all pretty much through the whole game and, and was able to win pretty quick. Is that like resin? Is a prosthetic resin? No, not at all. It's the oh. game is game wants you to use it. I just because it's it works similarly to Dark Souls where like to use the prosthetic tool, you have like basically ammo for it. I just yeah. never used it because I got that. I don't want to use my ammo in case I desperately need it. Uh, yeah, I feel you on that. Brian, how come you didn't do the all, all the bosses? I might do... Um, well, like, I, I don't want to spoil sweaty. any of uh, Sekiro for you, but there's some like recurring 
optional bosses that are all exactly the same. Mm -hmm. uh, like you, I, I don't know if if like every 45 minutes you fought an asylum demon or something in Dark Souls, you would probably get over it as well, uh. especially if you needed uh, a very specific uh, consumable to defeat the asylum uh. demon. Um, that, that consumable becomes infinite after a certain point in the game, though. You see what I mean, Dan? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but there's one definitely, like, a unique, very difficult boss that I would like to do, but also, um, I mean, I was just, like, done with Sekiro. Like, yeah. the, com the community turned on it, and I oh, turned yeah. on the community, and it was time for me to just, it's like... time to put it down. Yeah. So if there's a chance for me to go back in the future, once I've let that kind of, like, refractory period get used up, then then that would be fine, but... Yeah. No, I got you. <laughs> I was I the same about. way. Yeah. That's how I feel about Bloodborne. Like, I just finished up Dark Souls 3. I'm like, okay, it was good, but you got to simmer a little bit. You know, you mm -hmm. can't jump right back, in, back into the next Souls game. You know? Yeah. I was I felt the same way towards the end of Sekiro. I was like I was like I'm done. I was getting tired of it. I'm saying yeah. I'm ready to move on. What the hell? I, is this I, a I community don't know what, stage? What the hell is I this? Don't, I don't know what I've done here, but All right. After this, let's go oh, over here and, and do uh, another one. Yeah. Yo, these levels did not exist <laughs> when I played the game last. This is wild. This is like um Mirror's Edge. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. I can't. Why is the camera turning around? Oh, just go first person. How do you do that? Uh, <laughs> why? Why? Oh, but <laughs> Matt, this, I didn't know you had the oh! same sponsor of, as, of your keyboard as your gamepad. Can you hear my mount my gamepad? Yeah. Really? Yeah. That's annoying. I need a new mic. What That's kind of what mic? Is. Yeah, uh, it's the same mic I've had since day one. Wow. Uh, since day a, one, day one, like Math day of one, Starcraft? Day one, day uh, one. Well, halfway through the Math of Starcraft lifespan. But day one for Mathis games. Mm. Oh. It's a sand, it's like a studio condenser mic. It's a studio? Is this a studio? <laughs> I don't... Where am I supposed to be going? Yeah, I really there's, not there's picking a, red, up the, a red gate on the right side, I think. Um, I'm following you, ho Borvet. All right, be careful, dude. It's hot down here. I don't know if you can stick that landing. Oh. <laughs> you think anyone ever try this in real life? Dude, I've seen some messed up stuff. <laughs> On YouTube? You guys see, well, YouTube and like, like you ever see the videos, um, like the... Kate showed me there's like these YouTubers that do parkour and they they were doing it like <laughs> rooftop to rooftop in in a city. They were like eight or nine stories up and just they're not just jumping building to building, which is like one thing. <laughs> but they were like doing backflips or front flips while they jump rooftop to rooftop. I was just like, dude, all it takes is like one launch where your leg cramps up and you're dying like a horrible death or permanently <laughs> injured. I just anyway. went around to the jump. Yeah. You guys want to call it? Start another yeah. one? Yeah, yeah, let's do it. All right. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Check out the Sanders. It just came out. It's got multiplayer. And of course, watch the multiple perspectives if you're interested. Located in the video description below. Subscribe if you want to see more. Click the like button. That was a great deal. We'll see you next time. See ya. Goodbye.